Hi guys, today we're going to be chatting all about my favorite facial oils, more specifically those that I feel like are suitable for oily skin, but even if you have a dry or normal skin type, a lot of these could work for you as well. And if you're not familiar with facial oils, especially for oily skin, I truly think it is very, very important because, and I've said this in a lot of my skincare videos, but if you are used to stripping your skin of moisture, then your skin will overproduce oil and you're kind of ending up working backwards and making your skin more oily. So I truly feel find that adding oils into my regimen has made my skin more balanced, more hydrated and smooth and they also just feel incredible. These are the pro these are products that I use at the end of my skincare routine so you kind of go lightest to heaviest, but I will have skincare routines listed down below along with my favorite moisturizers, serums, uh, what else have I done? SPFs for oily skin. So be sure to check those out down below and subscribe if you enjoy oily skin content as well. I just filmed a playing around with Fenty Beauty makeup video. So that will be linked down below. That's why I'm so shimmery here, but uh, let's go ahead and get started. So the first facial oil that I ever tried that I was like, oh, I actually really like this because the thought of putting an oil on my face really, really scared me. <laughs> and I do only use facial oils at night, but this is the Clarins Lotus Face Treatment Oil. This one is for oily combination. They have another one as well. And I feel like Clarins skincare is just totally overlooked. Um, they're one of the first skincare brands that I tried that I really, really saw a difference with and really, really, truly enjoyed. And I wouldn't expect them from the outset kind of looking in to have a lot of products suitable for oily skin. I expect them to be a little heavier, really moisturizing, which is good, but within moderation for oily skin. So when I tried this, I was so, so impressed with just the way that it felt on my skin, the way it absorbed. The smell is incredible as well. And I just want to tell you quickly from their website, because I'm no skincare expert. I just know what I feel like helps my skin, what feels good on my skin, um, but it says it has a combination of pure plant extracts like rosewood, geranium, and lotus, and it helps to restore balance, which is what it's all about, keeping your skin balanced. And we're very lucky if we have oily skin that will stay looking youthful for longer, but we can even kind of harness that even more if we're not stripping our skin of oils. To have that balance, I think, is very, very important. So this oil is meant to help with texture, with suppleness, and kind of lock in the moisture the moisture in your skin and it also I noticed on the website it says it is um, non staining so safe against fabric if that is something you were worried about I never even considered that I haven't had that issue with uh, any of the oils that I'm mentioning today another oil that I'm absolutely in love with is from drunk elephant and I really really love their line this is their virgin marula oil it's a luxury facial oil I know other brands make marula oil I have not tried them so I can only attest to this one which is incredible I definitely recommend this one for just about any skin type and it's supposed to help with dullness, dryness, uneven skin texture and it is also full of antioxidants which is great for your skin. I think I actually when I was in California because the weather was just like so agreeable with my skin there. I actually mixed a little bit of this in with my foundation one day. I was feeling crazy, but I really love this. I'll use this in combination with their serums, primarily the TLC Framboose, which is great for the texture. And I just feel like when I combine those two, my skin looks so good the next day. It feels so good. And this line is just incredible. And like I said, I know there's other brands out there as well, but what I can tell from Drunk Elephant is that they definitely try to source the best ingredients. It's cruelty free. They're they're really, really good products. So although they're definitely a high price range, um, I definitely see results, which is important. This next oil is definitely marketed the most towards those with oily skin and primarily acne prone skin as well. So this is the Sunday Riley UFO Ultra Clarifying Face Oil. This has things like salicylic acid in there, which is great for oily skin, but then it also has uh, tea tree oil, black cumin seed oil, milk thistle to help uh, nourish the skin as well as fight acne. So on the Sephora website, it says it's good for acne, blemishes, pores, and just kind of congested skin. This smells very strong if you're sensitive to scents. I think it's like the cumin seed oil maybe perhaps. Oh, oh God, I got it on me. <laughs> oh no. Hold on. I don't need an oily undernose. Okay. 
Um, it definitely smells very strong. And this is an oil that I, again, like to mix in with the Drunk Elephant TLC Friend Booze. So I kind of go in between this one and the Marula. Uh, I found when I had my, when my skin was really, really bad over Christmas, I had a lot of cystic acne. So I was, I was using this and I didn't find that it like cleared up my acne because I had under the skin cystic hormonal acne, which like that needed medication to take care of it. But since uh, kind of clearing that up and working on just kind of scarring and overall blemishes and kind of keeping those at bay, not necessarily the cystic bits, I feel like I've had really good luck with this. I've seen a lot of mixed reviews on it, but for me, I've had a really good experience with it. And with all of these, you'll notice that it doesn't look like I've used them much. This is probably the one I've used the most in the Clarins, but I use just the tiniest, tiniest amount because I do have oily skin and I don't want to overdo it. And a lot of the time oils are quite higher priced. So um, I use it sparingly and you really only do need a little bit of all of these. Something on the definitely more affordable side is the Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Pressed Rose, Rose Hip Seed Oil. This is unscented, so it doesn't have a scent if you're sensitive to that. It says that it's formulated for all skin types to be used every day. It does have a little bit of color in it, but none of these like change your face color. I find one of them like just slightly, but we'll get to that. Uh, I really, really like this. I think again, this would be great for all skin types. My issue with the Ordinary besides the social media stuff is that I find that they don't do a good job telling you what their products do. Like I'm looking on their website and it gives you an, like, it gives you some information, but it doesn't say like this, 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 and this, which there may be like a method to their madness there. But I feel like when people approach their website because they're so affordable, they're so highly talked about, it gets very confusing. You can obviously go look on other websites, look on reviews, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But just the way they formulate, um, the way they package the products, the way they list them on their website is just confusing to me. Um, and I know a lot of other people get confused, but you definitely can find the information out there. But I do really, really like this oil. I think it's good for all skin types. If you're looking for something affordable, something, and you just kind of want to like dip your toes in there, I think that this is a great oil. It's full of omega, omega fatty acids, which are great for the skin. And I really do like this one. On their website, it doesn't list like a bunch of claims, but it has things in there like the fatty acids, like the vitamin A, which are going to be great to um, kind of plump the skin, keep your skin hydrated, and then of course, in turn, help with anti-aging, or at least keeping your skin looking more supple and smooth. Up next, this is a newer oil to me. It is the Pi Rose Hip Bio Regenerate Oil, and I love this. This is, I think, kind of the cult product from the Pi line. This is the first that I've tried. This is a super clean brand. If you have like nut allergies, you're vegan, you're cruelty free. They talk about the soil that they grow everything in. So they have, uh, they take a lot of pride in like how pure and clean their products are, which I think is awesome. And this line is actually available at Shoppers Drug Mart in some stores, and I'm not sure about online, but I would assume online as well. So this is a really beautiful facial oil. Uh, it doesn't have much of a scent very light scent, not much to it. And it doesn't smell like roses if that's something you're worried about. I don't find that this stains my skin. I feel like it gives a similar hue to when you use like a vitamin C serum that it almost makes you look slightly bronzed, but like it doesn't dye my skin or anything like that. And I use it at night anyways. It hasn't dyed my pillows, although I do have black pillows. Anyways, um, but I did read my friend Shell's review of this and I'm pretty sure in her review, she talked about how it almost changed the color of her skin a little bit because she's much more fair than me. So I don't know. Have you had that experience with this oil, but I really, really like this. If you're looking with for something with clean ingredients in there, it's really nice. It has vitamin E, it has your rose hip in there. So a lot of great nourishing ingredients. And it says that it's good for all skin types. Basically it says that it's good for like unpredictable and kind of problem skin, which I think we've all had at one point. And it just feels really great on the skin as well. Another newer oil to me, and this one is quite new to the market is from Glam Glow. This is their Star Potion Liquid Charcoal clarifying oil. So similar to the Sunday Riley, it really kind of more so markets itself to those with oily, more blemish prone skin. But on the Sephora website, it does say it's good for dry skin as well. This has um, turmeric in here. It has charcoal. It's a black liquid, but again, it does not dye your skin. So don't be scared of that. But it says it is formulated for blemishes, for dullness, for dryness, along with uneven texture. So these are all things that I suffer from. And I really like this one. This actually comes in plastic 
plastic, which a lot of them come in glass if that's a concern of yours. And I really like this. I think it's really nice that we're seeing more products come out formulated for oily skin because I feel like for a while skincare products were all so heavy, so creamy, so thick because I've tried other oils besides these that I found were way too heavy on my skin. So these are all oils that have kind of agreed with my skin because I know it can be very intimidating stepping into that. So something like this might be great if you definitely do have more oily skin and you're looking for something that's not going to be too heavy and then the ingredients like the charcoal and the turmeric are incredible for oily skin. I also should add that it that it has um, aloe vera in here which is incredible for oily skin. That's hydrating, it's light, it's soothing on the skin and then this also has salicylic acid if your skin uh, tends to like salicylic acid style products. So this I'm kind of compared to the Sunday Riley if you're kind of in between the two. Um, these are those are very very similar oils and this one doesn't have much of a scent. Up next this one isn't totally an oil. It's like an oil but it's a serum but it's a concentrate. To me it has the texture of an oil so that's why I'm including it in here and this is a total classic. It's the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate and it says it's a replenishing elix elixir of pure essential oils um, and distilled botanicals to visibly restore the appearance of skin by morning. And I really love this. This has incredible reviews if you look anywhere. I feel like the people who love this use it over and over again. This one kind of has that like like what kind of scent would you call it like naturey scent but it smells very good really really good at night it actually has lavender in it i believe yeah it has lavender essential oil in here which is very calming and then it also has squalene in it here or squalene which i've noticed it's a very popular ingredient and i've been meaning to try there's a new brand called bioessence and i think they use a lot of that which is like a really nice light hydrator to the skin it's something very similar to something that like occurs naturally in the skin again like i said i barely know what i'm talking about here but uh, it also has rosehip oil in here and this one definitely seems to be uh, pleasing to any skin type really beautiful this can be used as in serum like an oil you can mix it in with your moisturizer and I don't always layer all my products sometimes I just use an oil sometimes I mix an oil in with my moisturizer with my serum it really depends day to day how much time I'm willing to put in to my skincare but this is a great beautiful nighttime product and especially that scent it just feels very nighttimey very calming uh, it's great Right. Up next, this is another newer oil, and this one is actually formulated, it says, for normal to dry skin. On the Sephora website, it says combination, but I actually find this to be a very, very light oil, so I was surprised, because when I got it, I was kind of like, oh, it's probably going to be too heavy. This has um, kind of dual layers in here, and you're supposed to shake it up very well before using it. My only issue with this is I don't like the kind of spout on it. It's, it's hard to get out a lot of product, but then again, you don't really need a lot of product. Um, but I really love Laneige skincare. I've loved everything I've tried from them. And this is their Waterbank Dual Layer Face Oil. But for me, I found it to be really light, really fast absorbing. It's got fatty acids in there. It's got uh, vitamin E, which is great for your skin. Some kind of like crystals as well. It says like if crystals form in here, it's totally normal. And they really, really encourage you to fully shake it. And when you shake it, I'll show you in the close-up, but it just looks really cool. Even my boyfriend was like, ooh, what is that? It looks so interesting. Um, but I really like this. It is a Korean-based brand, and like Korean skincare is just a whole other world of itself. But that's why I really love Laneige, because it kind of like lets me dip my toes in that world and I've been very, very impressed by all of their products. They encourage you to mix this in with their foundations, with their moisturizers, and I've been really, really impressed. This is the newest one to me, but I was really, really surprised with how nicely it absorbed into my skin. It didn't leave it feeling heavy. It felt very, very light, but at the same time, my skin felt super soft and super moisturized. The last one I wanna mention is super bougie, beautiful packaging. It is the Guerlain Abiel Royale Youth Water watery oil and I was like watery oil and it really is a watery oil it has these little droplets in here and there's also honey in here which is so good for acne prone and oily skin I actually used to just put pure manuka oil or sorry manuka honey on my face back in the day when I did like a lot more DIY type projects on my face but this is formulated for all skin types it's supposed to help plump the skin at elasticity I know a lot of these oils kind of have the same claims and you might be like I don't know which one to choose but as I always say with these roundups, like I like all of these. I've been trying these all over the past year and a half, two years, like putting a lot into kind of figuring out which ones I like. And then from there you can determine, you know, do you want cruelty free? How much do you want to spend? What kind of ingredients are you looking for? What kind of scent? And then determine which one you like. Cause I know that these kind of videos can get a little bit overwhelming, but it's supposed to help with wrinkles, dullness, 
lines, fine lines, plumping the skin, adding elasticity. This one has a little bit of a, a kind of a perfumey scent, but again, it didn't irritate my skin. My skin doesn't really seem to get irritated with scents, but it has this really interesting watery texture. I think that you'll like if you have oily skin, if you don't like anything that's gonna be too heavy on the skin, the whole like watery oil thing is very, very true. I kind of expected from Guerlain something to be um, very, very heavy, very, very uh, creamy and kind of um, too much for my skin, but I was pleasantly surprised by this. Obviously a very high, price tag beautiful packaging love the little bee on it here uh, and honey I think is a very unique ingredient to have in here that I think is great for uh, oily skin so there you have it those are my favorite facial oils for oily skin but for most skin types I feel like the majority of these would work depending on what you're looking for really 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 encourage you to add uh, facial oils into your skincare regime if you are looking to up your game I've seen truly a big difference since adding them into my skincare routine which of course will be linked down below and if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!